Let's talk about Klein-Levin syndrome. So this is a disorder of central hypersomnolence. It affects males and Ashkenazi Jews more, especially in a question stem. It'll usually be a male affected. The cause is unknown, but the onset is usually between the ages of 10 and 20 for most people. So it's characterized by recurrent episodes of hypersomnolence that last between two days and five weeks. And that's specifically for the diagnostic criteria. The episodes are between two days and five weeks. So the most cardinal feature and that's required for diagnosis is hypersomnia. And these patients will be sleeping on a median of 15 hours a day. This is much more than in a disease such as narcolepsy. When the patients are awakened, they can be aggressive or irritable. However, they do spontaneously wake up to eat and use the bathroom. Uh, when they do eat, a lot of them exhibit hyperphagia and eat a lot and gain a lot of weight. There can be difficulty reading and speaking and impaired memory, so there's some cognitive difficulty. And uh, derealization is a symptom that is both sensitive and specific. So basically they will think that their surroundings are wrong or unreal or that sights and sounds are out of this world. And there can also be hypersexuality such as increased masturbation. Between episodes, these patients return to normal cognition and functioning. And the episodes have to last per the diagnostic criteria at least eight, once every 18 months. So there's also a subtype of Klein-Levin syndrome called the menstrual recurrent hypersomnia, basically when these episodes are only associated with menstruation. So because this is a rare disease, you'll have to rule out alternative causes and generally a pretty detailed investigation is done. So an MRI brain is done to rule out structural abnormalities, a lumbar puncture is done to rule out uh, infectious disease. These are both normal typically. An EEG is done if there's concern for seizures, uh, which typically shows some nonspecific slowing. There are some metabolic disorders that can uh, cause this. So a toxicology screen is done in case they're doing recreational drugs. A uh, BUN and liver function tests are done and investigations are done for amino acid disorders and organic acid disorders as well. Psychiatric diseases can also cause similar symptoms. In terms of treatment, uh, you want to focus on prophylaxis and avoid alcohol and maintain good sleep hygiene between episodes. Also, if episodes are happening frequently enough, maybe once every few months or um, once a month, then you can use lithium prophylaxis. Symptomatic treatment during episodes is not typically effective and is not always done, uh, but can include modafinil or methylphenidate. If the episodes are long lasting, like over a month, then IV steroids can be used. For prognosis, this disease typically lasts one or two decades from onset and then the patient returns to baseline or near baseline. Near baseline meaning that sometimes they'll have some cognitive dysfunction. These patients are also at a future increased risk of mood disorders.